Hey traders, this is Marco on the 15th of July and I'm not having a live trade for you today, but um, I'm having some bar by bar analysis from today's chart. Since Mac is not doing any chart reviews on Friday, I was thinking to do something by my own because some traders were asking about this. So yeah, um, basically I'm coming into or more like 2D PC around seven uh, US time. And um, as you can see, this is now six o'clock. So a bit forward, this is seven o'clock now. And this is what I saw today when I put up the chart. So first thing that I did was drawing a range here and uh, to see what what prices are doing because I can see that prices are bouncing off the highs and the lows uh, constantly. So the original thought that we see some range here. Um, yeah. Then the day was uh, progressing. Here is some shorter term channel working lower now. And we can see that there is some reaction here of the midline. And these red lines here are the closest of yesterday. So, um, yeah. But since this is pre-market and the, the movements are very slow, um, I'm mostly using this time to find the buyers of the day, to draw my first channels. And um, specifically here now, uh, this bar had 35 ticks, so there's nothing here to trade. Also, this is 7.30. And as you can see here on the top left corner, there were some news, the core retail sales and retail sales in general. So around news um, in general, I'm trying to stay out of any trades, just not to um, risk that I'm getting stuck or yeah, that the stop loss order is getting hit directly. So yeah, 7.30, uh, there's progressing. Um, increasing the range here a bit. And I can see some up momentum. So I like to uh, draw this short term channels all the time. If you can see that like three, four bars are going in the same direction, I like to, to draw this shorter term channels and even only lines just to get an idea of uh, what's going on. Because many times they help to, um, to predict uh, where prices are heading and what's going on. You can see prices coming here to the top of the range and breaking through it. Um, you can even increase it a bit here. So there's like a little pullback here, but uh, nothing to take and yeah prices just bounced off this uh, trend channel here so i'm progressing further now increasing the channel a bit you can see that it's not fitting well so i'm increasing here a bit now i can see that the midline is fitting well. Prices had some up momentum and pulling back now, touching the channel here, breaking the channel, but not going back to the EMA. Also, there's no setup here because we are far above the EMA. And the only potential setup that I would take here is when prices uh, bounce back to the EMA and are giving us some nice second entry long, for example. But um, yeah, this is not the case. So I'm checking further. Okay, 
there's a break and a new high. This is bouncing back. Now it's getting interesting because you can see little sh uh, short term uh, trend line working lower here and prices are about to bounce back at the EMA. Also, what I can see if we take the bodies of the uh, candles down here and increase the channel, you can see that from starting here, the channel is moving at this body and at this body. So this is fitting very well as well. Um, yeah, increasing the channel. By the way, this happens many, many times that you start with a shorter term channel, uh, channel and that you st uh, start then increasing the channels because um, prices are progressing. So taking this channel here, I like to color them. So um, I see what's going on. It's like just a personal preference. And we have a bounce back to the EMA with a potential break of the shorter term uh, downtrend channel here. Um, and let's see if we can get a second entry. So we have the first entry already, but that looks very congestive right now. Technically, if prices bounce higher here, it would be a second entry. Okay, we have an inside bar here, so that looks very stacked up. I'm, I'm not taking anything here. And of course, prices go higher. We have the resistance and the last high of this green channel here. And after a break, prices like to retest the highs. So this is happening right now. And there's the opening exactly right now at 8.30. And prices work higher here, retest the highs, but there's nothing that I can take for now because simply I like prices to come back to the key entry points and the key entry points are the channel uh, resistance and support and the um, EMA. And I can see that the highs were retested now and prices are stacking up here. Here's a lower high now. This can be interesting. If you see the same that the channel got retested here and the lower high to take a scalp back to the EMA, that happens uh, many times. Um, but yeah, it's also very congestive. So prices can uh, turn lower and take off higher, that's possible. So I like to skip this. Okay, seeing now some range behavior here. So I'm drawing the smaller range. And this is very interesting now because prices try to go higher uh, two times. We have this high here, tested once, tested twice. So it's a failed second entry uh, long and the triple test, a very nice um, bearish bar. And for me, this is a entry because also the uptrend was broken. We retested the highs. And with this resistance coming up here um, and the uh, failed second entry long with this very nice bearish bar, I like to take a trade here back to the MA, a scalp, quick scalp. And uh, yeah, there are high chances that we see a pullback. It's pulling back. I think here you are out of the trade already. It's going further a bit, drawing the shorter term trend channel here. And it's breaking out of the range. Can increase the range here. It's matching with this highs that I drew before. So can delete this. 
and you can see now this yellow range here very nicely there's no long or short for me right now because it's so congestive we made new highs already so right now i cannot see from price action what prices are uh, doing or what where they want to head next so i'm just waiting here this is a lower high but in the middle of the range so not interesting um, this one is going directly uh, into the support of the range um, so i would not wonder that it's pulling back here um, because most breakouts out of ranges fail we pull back here okay but most probably head lower now and I can see another channel forming here, taking this swing high, putting it, putting it to the bodies. Now we have a break of this channel and some more range behavior coming up here. There's the first break of the channel and um, yeah, most probably we will retest the lows of this channel here, uh, but we need a setup. This is going higher and is taking off lower now. We have a second entry short here. Mm, and if I draw this resistance here, you can argue that we have a high here tested once tested twice a triple time but i don't like the signal bar here it's it's too bullish for me if we saw a red um, body here then i would be very tempted to take this short here because we have the low first entry second entry and of course it's going lower but i'm thinking now to increase my channel size because you can see this midline is fitting perfectly here coloring the channel this is simply my preference because i like to see differences and i'm doing this by coloring the channels short term down line here bouncing of the channel and i'm expecting prices now to go higher and touch the channel again we break the channel again and this is the first entry short if we pull back now back to the ema maybe even above the ema and close under the ema i'm ready to take a short here on a second entry short for example but yeah prices are not doing this this is just the first entry short for me this is too aggressive i cannot take this you can see prices bounce here at, um, on the channel line and working lower okay so here's the break we have a retest of the lows so this channel played out and this very strong bullish bar uh, is showing me that uh, something is changing now because um, this congest congestion here was taken out by this bar, by this single bar. We can even consider drawing some channel here. I like to touch the bodies, but can check it like here maybe there's a bigger uptrend in play and prices are coming back to dma yeah and as i said this channel played out with this move higher above the ema and another push higher um, this is changing the direction and changing momentum very clearly also i can see from the time you can see it here we have 8 59 so there's a news event at nine so um yeah 
we are not uh, trading the news here. So I'm staying out of any trades. It's the news. And in general, I'm trying to stay out of like news around five to 10 minutes after that. Of course, when there's a FOMC meeting, then <laughs> I'm trying to don't take any trades 30 minutes before and 30 minutes after. But um, this is the um, University of uh, Michigan consumer sentiment. So this is not so important in my opinion. But we have a shorter term uptrend working higher here and price action is always working also during news so it's worth to draw these channels always and the break with a retest of the highs and i can see prices are working lower now maybe a bit more yeah like this uh, uh, looks good to me mm. yeah so we're bouncing back to dma you can see the congestion here i cannot take any trades in congestion area when it's like here because um, you don't know what's what prices are doing we have a shorter term downtrend working lower so um, a potential break and retest of the lows or we have a bounce maybe of this trend line here and price is going higher but this is just prediction so we have to see what prices are doing prices drop below the ma coming back with very strong bullish bars and there seems to be some resistance here so maybe we have some little some little range Prices prices bounced off that level and the midline fits if i have a look at these bars here okay prices break out of the range also a break of this downtrend ch uh, channel here and a retest of the lows which just happened so for me this downtrend channel played out but there was no setup to to take this here okay most breakouts fail maybe we come back into the range we come back into the range And this is interesting now because we have a range here, you can see it. And most breakouts fail. This downtrend channel here uh, is played out because we had the break here and the new low. And we have a higher low now with a bounce of the uh, range support. So I'm very tempted to take along here because yeah most breakouts fail this is a higher low nice bar at least back to the midline there's the ema in the way but um in ranges ema uh ema um, doesn't have too much power so i'm very tempted to take along here and it works out there is a reaction of the midline another reaction but at this part we would be out of the trade already and prices are doing what's typical for ranges they go and test the other side of the range it's fitting perfectly here with a bounce here but i cannot take this because um, there's like a little congestion and the bar is simply uh, too doji like if the bar maybe closes on its low then it's worth considering but like this i just stay out of it and do not risk it and i'm seeing a channel here you can also see 
break, new high. So this little channel here is played out as well. You can see many times in price action, um, the smaller channels and also the big channels, they are um, playing out the same way. Uh, let's see what happens next. There's a bounce here now of the EMA, but no trade because we had the break here before and prices go lower now again, but cannot reach the low of the range here. And this is telling me something um, when prices are losing steam and are not able to test the lows or highs of the range then momentum is shifting and um, many times we see then that prices uh, will break out to uh, the other side and in this case to the top side but of course this is no rule mm, i'm just seeing that here prices are not uh, touching the range lows so um, prices going back to the range high and testing this level now we cannot break through, so going now to the lower side of the range again and also meeting now this potential trend channel here that I drew before and see if prices are accepting this line. They do. So at this point this channel is confirmed for me because we have the start here, we have a touch here, we have a touch here, we have a touch here. And this is what I like to see. And prices broke out to the lower side. Also, we can say maybe that the range is like this because we have a touch here and touch here. And um, with this shift in momentum, you can see the order of bullish bars coming next to each other. You can see that uh, this channel is active, this channel is valid and prices break out higher. So we broke out of this uh, top right now and bouncing back. This entry here, if you see or look at it as an entry, is interesting because we have this um, short term uptrend working, the first break of it. Um, there's no second entry or something. This is just a breakout pullback of the EMA with a very strong um, bullish bar to retest the highs and the highs are here. Um, so if you are very aggressive, you can take this, but I personally would skip because um, yeah, range rules, most breakouts fail. Um, if you take the range how it is from here, then this is the first breakout, so breakouts fail. If you take it like this, how I had it before, we had a couple of breakouts to the lower side and they all failed. So after so many attempts and break, uh, failed breakouts, at some point you can accept, expect prices to um, leave the range. Okay, we take higher here. So as I said, if you, if you like an aggressive trade, that would be a nice entry here. It's a breakout pullback right of the EMA, right of the resistance of the um, range. But yeah, if you prefer to play, play it safe, then you just skip it here. So we have the first break of this uh, channel and the highs are retested now. Maybe there's even a bigger structure in play here. No, wait, it doesn't want. The channel is jumping here. Put it like here, like this. Okay. And going further, this is like a no man's land. So for me, there is no trade, but I can see a, a 
range forming it's a bit lower and this is very interesting as well the same when we uh, as we had it here before you had the uptrend channel a break retest of the highs and there was some congestion forming uh, away from the EMA after the highs were formed we have the same situation here you have an uptrend break retest of the highs so this is a repeat pattern this is advanced because um, yeah at some point you develop um, a vision for this but when you're starting with this then of course uh, this is not nothing for you so we have a triple test prices made a new high here tested once tested twice and um, with this bearish bar and as a repeat pattern from this uh, I like to take it and it would be enough for the scalp because the range low is here so um, you would be out of the trade already and it's going lower here already making my shorter term channel prices try to get back into the range but they are not able to and this is the first break of this channel now so we most probably will retest the lows of this channel and have also a touch now with our very important bigger uptrend channel it's breaking here a bit this is interesting bouncing maybe the channel is like so Yeah, and here you cannot take anything you can see bars are stacked up there's nothing interesting here um, so we just wait and skip this yeah this is pure congestion there's nothing to take here can even draw it and prices accepting this channel bouncing off it and leaving higher now drawing my channel so don't forget the last highs it's always important to have a look at it because um, when there was some resistance before there's a high chance that you will find some resistance again when prices approach these levels we have a break of this channel now and this is interesting now because you can see there's a failed second entry short uh, high or low with bounce of this support of the range here I don't like that this bar is finishing and flying over the EMA um, and these highs here are close is there enough room to scalp out or okay, it's 1.5 um, points so for 4 ticks it would be enough so if you are aggressive and you see that there is a support here from the range and you you see there is a higher low here um, you can take this but I would skip it simply because there is congestion forming here this is too aggressive it's in the middle of the old range and yeah the bar is flying above the EMA so if you skip this then you do everything right but if you are aggressive you can consider this it's the first break so we go higher yeah. and this trade would have worked but of course you never know this before and the channel also played out 
Yeah. And you can see how prices are working higher and higher all the time. This channel is played out. There's a lower high here, but um, I think they have the same high, so nothing to take. And this is simply a uh, no man's land. There's nothing that interests me. These bars in general are too big, flying over the EMA. And I see another range coming up here. Yeah. You can see prices work in this range now. There's no short, no long, nothing that, that we can take at this point. And another breakout of the range. With a directly with a direct reaction back into the range. But you can see there's no uh, drop lower, so we cannot take this. There's simply no setup here. Back into the range. And prices stay here. What's interesting to see in general, I drew this channel before and you can see prices are not able to come even close to this area here on the upper side, not even close to the midline. So that shows me that momentum is, is fading. Prices are not strong enough to come back to the midline, come back to this upper channel line. So this is an indication for me that something is changing. Maybe we go into a bigger range now um, and prices are turning back and forth. Now, there's nothing you can take. You can see it's totally stacked up. There's a bounce of the trend line here, but with this close to the highs, um, nothing to consider. And prices move lower now. Okay, you can see now here, um, this is the live price action chart. Drawing my channel. This is the first break of this bigger uptrend channel. Coming back. There is a first break of the shorter term channel. This channel in general is very flat. Um, I would like to see a second entry short here to, to take this. Um, also, it's the first bigger breakout of the range. So I'm just not sure what will happen here. Uh, yeah, prices bounce back and giving us the second entry here. But with this size of the bar, if it was a bit shorter, I mean, if the bar was a bit uh, smaller, um, I would be interested in taking this here. But with this size of a bar, I think uh, you cannot take it. It's it's simply too far away from the EMA. This this bar has 14 ticks. So, as I said, if you if you are interested in maybe taking this on engulfing here right after this bar formed, then um, yes, but not here because we are directly at the lows. There's support coming up here. So yeah, only on engulfing, but engulfing entries, I'm not recommending to beginners. So you can see that would, would have worked out. If you took it here on engulfing, I will mark it like here so that your entry is here with a retest of the lows. You have a very nice second entry short here. Retest of the lows. Yeah, and this is where we are. This is the first break of this up, bigger uptrend channel here. So I'm expecting a retest of the highs in, in this area here. Um, 
or even higher but uh, yeah that's for for now this is 35 minutes now I hope it was not too boring for you you can see these entries that I marked and I hope you understood when I saw it, uh, when I explained the more aggressive ones for example here yeah so um, I'm finishing the trading wrapping up the week and hope you had a nice trading week nice trading day and uh, yeah if you still trade wish you good luck for the rest uh, of the trading day and of course a nice weekend see you next time